What's going on YouTube, it's just JC. Today I got two things for y'all. Number one, finally got a haircut, meaning that I'm out of quarantine. I'm free in the free world. Go back to work, do all the good stuff that normal people can do with a mask on, of course. Number two, got a package today from UPS and it ended up being my new Ohio Power Bar. So if you follow me on Instagram or on my old YouTube post, probably know that I already own a power bar but the thing is I bought one that was bare steel so I didn't do my research on the bar it just came available and I thought why not and I didn't realize what bare steel really meant a bar that had to have a lot of upkeep to make sure that you kept it in good order because it just didn't have the protective finishes like some of the other bars do living in Texas with the bar being inside the garage it just started accumulating a lot of rust which I didn't have the time for to make sure I kept good. So ended up selling it and then bought a different bar. Same exact bar, but it had different finishes on it. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna open it up, check it out, see what it looks like, and then compare your Ohio Power Bar versus the regular Ohio Bar, which I have the Cerakote finish. And kind of see the differences for some of y'all in the market for a bar will help you make a better decision for your purchase. So well, after these five stop trying to attack me, Let's go ahead and open up this bar, check it out, and then do a comparison. All right, so just like the other bars that Rogue sells, it comes in this nice packaging. Um, it's just kind of difficult to open if you open it up in the manner that they want you to open it up, which I'm probably not gonna do. I'm gonna do what I did last time, which open it up right here just enough to kind of slide the bar out. So what you can do, you can take out these staples going to release the bottom portion and from there you can start pulling out the cardboard or you can do it a different way whatever works for you but this is what works for me Just opened up the bar, had to grab a rag because the um, bar had some oil on it, meaning that they put kind of a protective coating before they packaged it up because, dang, that thing got really oily and slid on my hand, but really pretty bar. Let me show y'all. So I decided to go with the stainless steel shaft, as you can see, with the black Cerakote ends. All right, so I just actually put the bar on the bench and I noticed that they forgot something. So it looks like Rogue forgot to put the dang end caps on this side of the barbell. Because if you look on this side, it's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to email Rogue and let them know that they forgot it and hopefully they send me a new one or do something. But moving on, so the knurling on the Ohio Power Bar is aggressive, in my opinion. Just aggressive enough to where it feels comfortable if you're doing deadlifts, if you're doing squats. Um, but it is some taking used to, or it's going to take some getting used to for your hands. Has one in the middle as you can see. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the Rogue Ohio Power Bar versus the Ohio Bar with the full Cerakote finish. All right, as you can see, same Cerakote finish on both ends, so same color. A little bit thicker on the Power Bar. Overall, it's the same size, just minute differences. The biggest difference, the reason why I wanted the power bar is right here on the knurling. As you can tell, very aggressive. See how more defined this is? Let's see if I can get it in there. 
versus the regular power bar. All right, so I appreciate y'all watching this video. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at JustJC. Any questions, hit up the comments below and I'll try to help you out and answer them. But thanks again for watching and I'll see y'all next time.